woke up. I don't even know what time it is. Probably time for me to be up anyway. Let me look. Let me look. 9.58, so I've probably been up now about, give or take, uh, maybe 20 minutes. So, I'll get back with you when all this noise gets done and over with. <laughs> Maybe once, and we had breakfast. And she just told me that today, she says, I forgot to put a couple plates in there. And when she says plates, she means real plates. Generally speaking, people just carry paper plates because it's easy, you throw them away, you know, you don't have to do dishes and stuff. Saves water. You know, when you boondock like we do, you save water. So, we're probably going to go to a Dollar General store or something down there and buy some cheap plate because we can put we got this microwavable bacon and uh, I microwave eggs all the time that's easy peasy so we can make bacon and eggs in the microwave in here and I would much rather do that because it's fast it's easy and it doesn't heat the camper up like a stove does and so yeah so we're gonna have to probably get a couple of plates but here lately we haven't really had to that much because what we got in the refrigerator is a lot of fruit <coughs> and far be it for anybody to believe me but I like fruit a lot of fruit so I can make a breakfast out of just fruit fruit and coffee and I'm good but I also got cereal got milk I'm good on cereal and milk you know when I'm camping I, I justify a little bit you know really I, I give a lot I know I know we're not at home we're not going to have the same things the amenities and and the easiness of doing things you have to compromise quite a bit so yeah you know, I'll, I'll eat cereal uh, I'll eat it every day it's not a big deal would I do that at home no I eat cereal maybe you know once a week if that and and you know so I eat scrambled eggs and and, and hash browns and um, uh, my favorite that Sue hates it when I eat it because she does she knows it's not very healthy of course why do I eat this healthy anyway but I like a corned beef hash mm -mm -mm. and whenever I'm frying up a can of corned beef hash you know I can I can just tell by looking at her she disapproves of that but I think I told her to put a couple of cans of corned beef hash in here for me and I don't know if she did or not so and don't bring me no corned beef hash. Please, people, don't bring me no corned beef hash because I guarantee you're going to bring the wrong one. I'm particular about that. There's only one kind of corned beef hash that I'll eat, and uh, I know what it is, and we get it. So um, a lot of you have been so kind to send me stuff, and I appreciate every bit of it. But I don't like to waste anything. And when you send corned beef hash made by somebody else, the odds are I'm never going to open that. I give it away. I give it to a neighbor or... or a food shelter or something you know a food pantry uh, so don't don't bring me any proceeds I do appreciate it but don't if you do I'm gonna probably give it away so yeah uh, what is it uh, oh and I wanted to answer one little question on this I'll, if I can because I got my new not new I got my old computer laptop that I brought with me to do some editing once in a while I'm not going to be putting up videos as much as I normally would do if I was home. At home, I've got a whole different setup. I've got a whole different kind of computer, a whole different kind of editor. And it's actually it's set up to um, edit videos. Um, I am not proficient on editing videos on my cell phone. I don't like it, and I'm not going to do it. Most uh, videos I've seen other people do, that when they edit them on their cell phone, they're not that good. I don't like it. And I'm not going to do that. But in my laptop, I have an old editor that I've had for years. That's where it's one of the editors actually I started out with. And I don't use it that much, so I kind of forget <laughs> is how to do things on it. So if you see videos on the RV channel that look kind of, you know, not as not as good as you as I do say on the other one, um, that's why it's an old editor, and I forget how to do things and. Uh, I don't have a mouse. I'd rather have a mouse to do it. Sue forgot to bring the mouse, so and now I'm using my finger to do, you know what I mean. And I, uh, so I'll do the best I can do and get some stuff out there for you. And by the time you see this video anyway, 
most of them videos are probably going to be edited already by the time you see this video it's very possible that I might be on my way home <laughs> because I'm always two three four weeks behind on videos I never want to be where a video says I'm at because you never know what sicko is going to be out there so the video you guys has already seen which I don't know which that is I think we're still heading here from the villages and uh, I'm already here and by the time you see this I may be on my way home I mean that's just the way it works so there's no need to send me anything when you're watching a video there's no need to put a comment in the video saying hey I see you're in uh, uh, Rockport um, uh, send me an email here's my email hey, I like to meet you and we'll have lunch I love doing that I really do I love doing that we'll meet anybody anytime anywhere we've done it we I had a viewer meet me here at Rockport here two years ago and we had lunch with him it was great but it, it, by the time you see this video, I'm not here. So if if you want to do anything like that, you got to let me know. Like I mean, like way early. I told you guys what two weeks ago, three weeks ago, maybe longer than that, that I was going to spend the month of March in Rockport, Texas. That's your clue right then. If you wanted to meet or greet or have lunch or a beer or, or wanted to come by the campground and meet us here or something like that. You needed to let me know then and then that way I'll make a note when I get here then I would send you an email and let you know that I'm here uh, so yeah you gotta you gotta let us know way way early all right and the way we're gonna go home I'm leaving here uh, April 1st this is your clue I'm leaving here April 1st and I'll be going up to Houston from here I'm not sure what road I'll be taking up there 72 77 something like that uh, I'll be getting on Interstate 69. 69 is going to take me um, all the way into Houston, and then in Houston I'll get on Interstate 10, and then 10 is going to take me all the way over to Florida, up to which uh, I'm just going to take a guess. I'm probably going to get on 75 and go south. It's very possible, though, around Pensacola or someplace there, I may shoot down one of them side roads. And, and cut across that corner you save miles but you don't save gas or anything because of all the towns you go through uh, so and with the price of gas right now here where I'm at it was 303 when I got here on